What is going on guys and well as you all know I did the best races for you guys to farm in the street class and I'm going to be doing the drift class in this video now I'll be 100% honest there's only two races I actually do in this class that I farmed all my parts for and that I actually enjoy doing the most some of the drift challenges can be kind of frustrating so the first one I normally do is airport terminal D and the other one is airport terminal E hilariously enough these are obviously in the same area here uh, right down in Miami over here. So if you're interested in doing these, I recommend doing these too if you guys are going to grind your parts. If you are wondering, all the drift challenges are pretty much the same when it comes to time limits and all that, so they're actually not different. Uh, like, for example, the ones up here in New York, like Upper East Side. These could be a little harder to do. It might be a little more annoying, but they all have around the same time limit to do to give you that chance to get as many points as possible. So you really, for this one, you pretty much want to pick the your favorite drift challenges for that matter. Uh, for me, these are the easiest ones to do and actually really, really fun because you get an insanely high score in them. So you guys did see me do this exact same drift challenge in the drift tutorial video. And that's for good reasoning because I absolutely love this race. I mean, it's really, really fun. Um, like I said before, if you guys were wondering, all the races pretty much have the same time limit. And most thing differently about these is going to be the track there. So if you guys do find your favorite track there, for example, like uh, Terminal D here, I recommend just continuing to do that one to farm your vehicles up there. Uh, these are going to take some time to do, unfortunately. Um, the best way to do it, if you guys really wanted to, um, just get the highest score possible, have fun with it. Um, you guys can hit like the 20k mark or like something like that pretty easily, or the 50k mark, and just sit there. But I recommend just doing the challenge, because you guys will get better at drifting that way as well. And these are honestly really fun to do, because the track's open, and you can pretty much have a blast in these. Now, I'm obviously running the RX-7 here to do these. So as you guys see here, I'm not even trying here, just messing around, drifting these, and... You guys will complete this in around the 2 minute, like 30 mark, thirty second mark, whatever it is, for the time limit of the drifts. Some of the drift challenges can be kind of frustrating. You guys might hit stuff or something like that, and I recommend just making this as easy as possible uh, for these. Now, like, we're all here to get these done as quickly as possible and make it easy to get the parts we are looking for. We all know how annoying the sets can be to get sometimes. It could take some time. If you guys do have that loot digger set, definitely throw that on there. That will help a lot with these, because you can only get so many parts from the races. Um, it really does vary. Um, I noticed all the drift challenges are the same though. So right there, for example, I just got that done. Uh, let's see how many parts we get here. Now, it does vary, like I said, to each race. I believe because all the drift races are the same time limit, they're basically going to be the same amount of parts you can get from each one. Uh, depends if you have a loot digger set or not. So for this one, I did get about four parts there. Uh, you can sometimes get five. It kind of depends. Uh, even three. It kind of depends what the game wants to give you. Now, I'm not going to lie, guys. This one can be a little annoying as well, but I personally find this one really fun. The main reason why I did this one is because the other ones had a lot of tight turns, and it, some of the roads are just kind of iffy. Uh, I'm sure many people don't want to deal with the LA Harbor either. Thank you, Demolition Derby Cars, for that. Uh, I really do enjoy this race a lot, though. This one and Terminal D, I feel like, are the easiest. Now, if you guys are looking for, like, I'm going to be 100% honest here. The easiest race to grind is going to probably be Terminal D, because that one's just very open and very easy to actually, like, drift on. This one has some more tight turns, but it might be good practice if you guys are trying to get better at drifting. Um, we all know how a lot of summits are having a lot of drift challenges with the new season uh, and all that, so we don't really know what they're going to be having in the new uh, summits and all that, but we have to wait and see there. Uh, but regardless, these are pretty fun to do, and I recommend trying them out uh, if you guys are looking to grind these cars out more. Uh, the drift class is very, very fun. I know it's kind of hard to get used to how these cars handle and all that sometimes, but this is very, very fun to do. So with the Terminal E, this one has a lot more throttle control and trying to get used to the turns. You're also going over uneven ground sometimes, so it is good practice. The Terminal D, super open and great for grinding. Do keep in mind, guys, like I said, Ace is 250,000 points here. So that is going to be a good amount to be able to get into Ace there and get the parts. Um, you get three to four parts I've been noticing from grinding the, you know, these a lot. I believe the loot digger will give you anywhere from like six to seven, maybe eight if it's really nice. Um, you could also get like eight gold parts if the game's really nice. I've gotten like 15 gold parts one time from the uh, hypercar races, so it really depends what the game likes to give you. Anyway, guys, these are my two favorite races to grind in the drift class. Made this video very short and simple for y'all. Definitely try it out if you guys are trying to level these cars up. It's great practice and it's also a lot of fun.